Meghan Markle here. Today is February 12, 2024. It is 2.20 a.m. I just finished edit the second video of whatever I recorded, I think the 10th, before I went on uh, my family getaway. But um, I should not be recording because I still have more to edit. But, you know, when things are popping up, I just want uh, to record them let it be and whenever i get the time i'll edit them so this is what i have for you now 24 of them here and then there's 18 of these so i'm gonna try to tackle them before six o'clock all right so this is the background i'm not i think i will be putting them on this channel because most majority of them are like gossip kind of thing so i'll put it here and uh, the past couple of days, I haven't have any videos for this channel. As a matter of fact, this morning, I realized I didn't have any. All right, so this is the first one. As I'm recording this, the squad are on a mute challenge because on the 14th, the Sussexes will be doing their charity work regarding Invictus. So for that, you need to go on our part of Pure Service. This is where I'll be putting it. I would love to put it on this channel because it's, you know, that's where m m everything that I put will be monetized. The other one, it's not so much. I don't know how YouTube, maybe I need to read more how YouTube is doing that thing, but not all of the videos are monetized because of the certain amount of subscribers that I have. So I'm going to be putting anything that the Sussexes do, Harry, regarding the Invictus at Canada will be on our part of Pure Service. So subscribe there. All right. So we are on a challenge. The squad, you know, say, hey, as of today, from the 12th to the 16th, there's a challenge. So which means we're not going to pay attention to what the uh, Royal Vats and the Salty Island are doing. That's pretty much what that means. All right. Focus on the Sussexes or if there's nothing yet, we just make our own discussion of whatever it is, but forget the headlines. Okay? So that's what that means. And there's me here, ma'am, yes, ma'am, and the squad are agree. All right? So let me go to the next tweet. I don't need to read the comments, it's just that. I have so much more to share with you. Oh my God, I forgot about this. This is a long one. All right. pause what a kind king prince harry is he flew a 14-hour flight to see his father and this kind news report say he saw his father for 45 minutes as king charles then left to sandrium safe trip back to your home harry there's a heart here 38 seconds let's listen as well but we know that in the last hour or so prince harry arrived at clarence house and had what was probably about a 45 meeting a 45 minute meeting with the king um, Harry making his way um, from California pretty much as soon as the news had broken um, that the King has received this diagnosis and started that course of treatment. Harry's people making it clear he'd spoken to his father and was going to be coming back to the UK in the coming days. So that meeting has now taken place. The King and Queen in the last few moments just left um, Buckingham Palace by helicopter. So this is from that, I oh know, the, the woman says something about birthday. Okay, the leak came from uh, Williams, uh, one of the videos uh, that I was editing uh, had said. 
It's been 17 months since you saw his dad. Last saw him at the coronation where he was so maybe that's we not... Don't, no, I'm sorry. No, you don't we wait until your dad has cancer. No, we don't, don't know whether they've been speaking over well, we the do telephone. Know. We don't know, Jerry. Well, no, we know because no, we some reporter has mentioned it. We do know it. that they did speak on his birthday and Wills' no, people immediately leaked that phone call to the press. That's what... All right, the hate press are trying to spend this to a five minute, so thanks for that, because they want to do that, but also build a narrative that Harry must stick around longer. Yeah, and I, <laughs> I'm telling you, and also remember, they asked him, tw what is it, 28 days advance notice before he came to the UK, and I've heard, okay, hopefully I read it to here again, um, that uh, while he was over there, his father wanted to take him to Sandrium. But only one comment that I read under some old tweet. It's in one of my videos. But I haven't come across anything or a video that says that Charles wanted to go to Sandrium with him. All right. Harry won't be pushed over. Huh? No, he's pushing himself over. Huh? Okay, 5,000 miles for 45 minutes. A lot of squaddies will spend it. But fact is, it's uh, a simpish and self-defeating behavior. What the hell? Okay, if uh, there weren't indication of actual talks and deliberation with the old man, Harry should have kept his ass at home. And then this week, what will we be hearing? Okay, when he goes to Canada, oh, Harry didn't even come to see his sick father. Look at him doing this. Okay. Harry did the right thing, and thank God he did it, and then hop out. Okay, I'm still stunned that any adult who've watched the coverage of Harry and Meghan will believe anything the UK media said. They know nothing. They have no clue what happened behind the closed doors. They assume stuff, like I did, <laughs> then share it as facts. Most of them, it's proving to be a falsehood, in my opinion. And not only that, um, when he was over there, one of the things that I was saying was that Probably about the lawsuit. The father probably wanted him to remove it. And the day later, which I was not aware, which was Friday, is that the the court came and said Harry won his case. Then they said, oh, whatever. It's because probably Charles, in my humble opinion, was trying to convince Harry to, uh, I don't know, either settle or pull the thing out. But uh, whatever deal they came off, we don't know the full detail of it, but uh, it seems like uh, Harry got what he wanted. Okay, I'm still... Okay, I read that. Why can't they just say he visited his father? Why is everything there's a meeting? Okay, it's an institution, not a family. But when it suits them to get to get at Harry, then they act like it's a family. It isn't. <laughs> All right. Uh, the whole monarchy concept is a bunch of outdated and archaic monarchy, in my opinion. Being from the U.S., that's how I see it. Okay, that's just your opinion, <laughs> so keep it to yourself. No. Oh, okay, let me pause. Just, I was going to say something like that, then I read it at the bottom. Um, no, but it's a public form. Exactly. The same way you're telling her to keep her opinion, you might as well just keep yours. Okay, see, in our country, we are allowed to comment about our president, and we don't have some family claiming to be appointed by God to rule us. Nonsense. Okay, so let's go to the next tweet. There's more comment, but let's move on. All right. I think it's still about the meeting. Okay, fantasy. Let's pause this. Fantasy. British media is begging Harry to return to take over royal duties. British media is begging for Harry to bring his kids because grandpa must want to see them. Please, that's the last thing. Reality. The king gave Harry 45 minutes <laughs> before flying back to Sandrium. You can't make this up. Let's read this. Daily Mail Diary editor Richard Eden tweeted today, after his 5,000 miles flight from Los Angeles, Prince Harry is understood to have had a brief meeting with King Charles before His Majesty departed for his Norfolk retreat, Sandrium. It will be interesting to see how long Harry stays in this country. Earlier, royal commentator Richard Fitzwilliam said, I am sure Harry will put aside the past right now for this serious issue. The royal family, including the Sussexes, it's so important that everyone is pulling in the right direction. <laughs> With the UK, what is the right direction? Whew. Uh, Christina Kariaku, sorry if I pronounce it wrong, the King's former press secretary said today, Charles adores Harry. Mm. Uh, he didn't want any of this estrangement. 
if out of bad news some good news come and heavy and the king and the queen and his brother are united how wonderful oh please <laughs> exactly in my humble opinion what i think is happening right now is that reality starting to set in but whatever it is that uh, they saying right now they don't truly truly mean it they just going with the flow when the queen was alive because a lot of people respect the queen so with that kind of respect for the queen the institution seems like it was going okay whatever plan these people had charles and his buddies had they thought they were fine but now that the queen passed reality is setting in it's showing how they truly feel about the institution so now because of that because majority of people not all majority of people in the uk like the way heavy is moving forward so what do you think they will do these people pay attention to everything this is why their bases are fully covered everywhere i've been saying this the recycle system okay so they're paying attention to everything so now this is the only base they do not have covered what do you think they have to do they have to adjust pretend that they adore harry pretend that they, but then again they can't even pretend that because they're so freaking savage that few minute heavy step over there the vile headlines that was being printed it was unbelievable i have never seen anything like this before what come close to what i was seeing which i did not share on my community board or take screenshot to share with you uh because they were so vile what came close to that is what uh was that clarkson wrote about megan but this time was about harry okay so these people are trying to get on harry's good side to do whatever it is that they want to do but the main thing is this is the main thing because they will remain true to themselves these people in the uk they will remain true to themselves as we're in this moment of transition i think it's it's not unnatural that people are having conversations about the monarchy and the place of the monarchy uh, in, in various countries, Canada included. And, and some of the recent polling is, is suggesting that there is a drop in, in the percentage of people who would like to see the monarchy continue. How do you, how do you deal with that as a family? Well, we don't, um, in many respects, need to deal with it. Mm -hmm. <coughs> not least of all, because um, it is the monarch that is the, the key to this and the constitution um, that underpins the monarchy. We as a family see ourselves there as to support that role. What we do, we hope, contributes uh, to the monarchy and the way in which it can convey continuity uh, of not just interest but of service, of understanding, uh, the way that people and communities um, want to live their lives and I think so often we get the chance to see communities and, and the people who do things really well and are very generous with their time um, in a way that if you look at the media you tend not to get that impression. <laughs> are there conversations about relevance? There will be everywhere. It's not a conversation that I would necessarily have. I think it's in, it, it perfectly true that it, it is a moment where you need to have that discussion. But I would just underline the, that the monarchy provides with the constitution a degree of long-term uh, stability that is actually quite hard to come by any other way. Mm. And, and when we think about this, t this duty, this role that the king has taken on, what kind of king do you think he'll be? Mm -hmm. Well, you know what you're getting, because he's been <laughs> practicing for a bit. <laughs> and I don't think he'll change. <laughs> and I don't think he'll change. You know, he is committed to his, his own level of service. That will remain true. He is committed to his, his own level of service. That will remain true. What is true 
to them to be savage. How long they been savage? Just look at their history. So right now they trying, they can even try to be nice. They can even try, but they trying is to eliminate Harry because what Harry is doing is opening people's eyes. What have I been saying since uh, the Harry and Meghan's uh, union? I said Harry and Meghan's union are similar, somewhat similar to what the U.S. went through with the 2020 election. Okay, it's completely two different things. But the thing, what happened in the U.S., the lifeline, the 2020 election, people saw, a good amount of people saw the direction the country was going, they went out and vote. But the U.K. did not see that for themselves after the Brexit and everything else that, that follow. The only lifeline the U.K. had was Heavy and Megan, their union. But at that time, they didn't see it because the things were so vile. They are used to seeing the nonsense on the tabloid. They never seen it until Harry and Meghan left the country and then the queen died. Now, somewhat, some of the people are getting out of their hypnotism. Okay. The U S okay. I'm saying this. The U S is not fully out of the woods yet. Just if you Take a pick if you are the side of the country. Take a pick. See what is being discussed about Trump and all of this. And if a good portion of Americans vote for Trump and he got in office, whatever, if he does knock on wood, he never get close to that office again. Whatever the U.S. gets, that's what it deserves because Trump is letting us know exactly how he feels. And then, if that happened, the rest of the world is in big trouble. That's all I'm saying. Okay, so let's get back to the original recording. Okay, wow, 45 minutes with his dad, her generous of King Charles. Even though it was known and scheduled meet, the king could only give his son a small amount of time, not even a tea or a sandwich. It's like, thanks for coming, darling boy. Now, F off, pathetic. I think so too. I think at David, this person here, has it figured out properly. His tweet is still making me laugh. Okay, I suppose, quote, please come back, and quote, and no. <laughs> doesn't take long to say. All right. King Charles III really doesn't care about Prince Harry, his wife, and Sussex grandchildren. Sussex grandchildren. Absolutely. I actually don't think he cares about anyone except himself foremost and then his spouse. Yeah. All right. Let's go to the next tweet. These people are crazy, 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 crazy. They isolating themselves more and more. Did I do this already? Why do I feel like I did this? Okay. King Charles has cancer. No, that's because I saw it on the thing and then I respond to it. I think I did somewhere. Yeah. There it is here. All right, King Charles has cancer. Kate Middleton is missing. Prince William is falling down drunk. Now, poor Edward. Somebody put an X on the White Royals. Mm -mm -mm. Wow. Maybe all the Blood Royals are. Mm, I don't know. This is real face. This his real face. Yes, no Photoshop. Okay, Ad is in hiding. <laughs> Anne is in hiding. She doesn't want to be next. Remember, she was apparently the one that pushed Charles to evict Harry from Fragmore. Commas coming for them all. <laughs> I don't want to go into that. I know I'm going to be laughing too much. I have too much to share with you. Okay, the question is, who's within their circle is chopping them down? That person is doing what other countries will spend billions and trillions of dollars. All right, to do pretty much. Okay, this is around the clock payback from Megan's ancestors. Okay, let me drop this here. Something similar is happening, in my opinion. All right, so there's this here. Um, some of the papers have been telling us for years no one is listening. UK, you have yourself to blame for being royally hip hypnotized. One got help, the other is being propped while he's in a state. All right, let's go here. While he's in a state, that's the question mark. UK peasant, wake the F up. For the sake of Di's grandkiddos, they are next. Okay, Charles tried to shield Camilla after her son admitting, admits using cocaine. It starts at the kind of fashionable London parties and the nightclubs faded in the society club. Okay, that's the article. I'm not going to read it. All right, so that article. There's something in there. Whoever the article mentioned, that's the one who's... You know what? Let me stop with my opinion from this point on. 
How old is he again? Careful, okay, Edward. I hope he's okay. There's that. People, that. I mean, it's really not. Wow. From this to that. Wow. He doesn't look well. There's this. Something, something is happening. Yeah, people are putting things side by side. Okay, I say it's Megan Black ancestors who are teaching the royals a value, a valuable lesson and what could happen when they mistreat a beautiful, charismatic, mixed race woman like Megan. Okay, I actually feel for Edward. He was the only one that spoke up regarding taking Fragmore Cottage. Hmm, I don't know anything about that. Okay, he seems to have been terribly affected by the passion of his parents, wishing him well, but he doesn't look great. Okay, I didn't know anything about the uh, Anne saying, I've heard about it, but I didn't read any articles where they say it was Anne. I read from tweets, okay, and then him uh, who spoke, I just read this here, that spoke against uh, not taking the flag more. So I don't know anything about all of that. It's two tweets only. Okay, wishing him well, but he doesn't look good. What's the point of this post? The Wednesdays aren't exactly of family of looks. <laughs> Oh my God, Dinah brought some good looks into that family until William started aging badly and turned into practically a carbon copy of Charles and grew out those looks Diana gave him, but Harry didn't. <laughs> but it's true. <laughs> I'll go into that to see what other people said before. Oh my goodness, look at him and after. Uh, I really want to go into that, but let me read this one. To be fair, this is an oversaturated and poorly lit image. Other shots on Getty images from the same event show a person who appears lean but, health, but healthy, happy to be in attendance. I mean, your eyes can be deceived. Okay, if you, wanna, you want them to feel good, that's fine. But we see the difference. There's healthy skinny. I've seen healthy skinny. Okay, Harry had a different father though. No, okay, that put to rest already. Actually, Charles is better looking than William. There's a lot of fear, there's that. Okay, so let's go to, my goodness. Let me take that opportunity to do that. Okay, this had been put to rest. There's one tweet that I read and it makes perfect sense to me. It's from a very old tweet that said that uh, if Harry was not Charles' father, I mean, if uh, Charles was not Harry's father, he would have, you know, used that to the full advantage. Okay, that's because he knows it. There's a couple instances. You look at Harry, you see Charles and him. All right, so there's that here. I covered this in one video. I hope it's, I'm not repeating it. Okay, and while in uniform, disgusting behavior, he's either drunk or hungover. He needs to get his ass to rehab, and that's where he was reported to be going. He needs to go. None of this army wine house shit. All right, Prince William is drunk. If you see it, pass it on. He's drunk. Yeah, he is. Uh, I'm just going to scroll through it really quick because um, I don't want YouTube. I don't want to keep on taking screenshot. Okay, just look really quick. All right, when he's standing here, he's swaying. Come on, here we are. Okay, I'm muted because it's, look at him. That's him swaying. Look at his eye twitching. Look at the swaying here. Wow. They didn't show when he dropped the thing. It's to a picture. All right, so let me just fast forward it from here on. All right. And that was it. All right, let's see here. From my point of view and my humble opinion, I think there is a supplier that is supplying him with whatever he is taking. His kids are young. The perfect age to have full control of them and put the BS in their heads, someone is securing her extended future within that class system. Just saying. All right, William is feeling the pressure to do the job he was born to do. Okay, he was born into. However, he didn't think it would be so soon. He needs serious rehabilitation and guidance. Yeah, uh, his behavior during the investor was beyond disgusting. But as someone said, he doesn't really care about these events as it's mostly giving awards to regular people, which made sense as when later that day at uh, a Ritzy event, he was all bright eye and uh, bushy tailed. Okay, I don't know anything about that. Uh, could be lack of sleep too. Perhaps. Uh, probably. Oh my God. Then he know he was gonna do that. 
probably up all night thinking of what that what to tell the public when the nine months are up <laughs> could be too and there is still no kate there's a uh, here sai comment he's aging like a potato uh could it be also be that he's been going through withdrawal in the last two weeks that it was the consequences of such physical stress physical stress that we saw here Maybe he is just wanting to show his color before going to a rehab clinic or doing outpatient rehab. Okay, that's that. I don't know. Which one did I say I was going to go to? Uh, was it the last one? Never mind. So let's move on. Next tweet. This video might turn into two because I have more to share with you and I'm already 40 something minutes. Okay. Uh, they create storyline for the sole intent of outrage. Harry laid out his term clearly months ago. Harry wants nothing to do with bullying. All right, that's a retweet. There's a screenshot here. Is Harry really so self-centered, so blind to reality <laughs> that he thinks he can walk back into the country and magnanimously declare he's ready to meet William? What the hell? When did Harry say that? They create the story and then they went on to uh after all he's done vilifying the royal family for his netflix million but why do they keep on saying that what is it peace morgan said in that video was it in this video that he came out saying that uh harry is uh destroying the royal family but then they say william is the one who's leaking to the press and all of this how much of the negativity towards the couple is coming from within the royal family the royal family and staff of the royal family are the ones that are very often leaking these stories to the press. Well, if I, we do know, well, no, we know because no, we some do reporter know. has mentioned it. We do know it. that they did speak on his birthday and Willis's so, people immediately leaked that phone call to the press. What is Harry supposed to move on if these people keep on leaking? And Harry had to set the record straight. The only difference between the two brothers, William, is hiding behind the tabloid. No, no, Jerry. Well, no, we know because no, we some reporter has mentioned it. We do know that they did speak on his birthday and Willis' so people immediately leaked that phone call to that's the press. What but Harry is going in public telling he is the source. So, again, one of the reasons why I wrote this book is I every word in that book is mine. And I realise that... What do, you, what, do you, what, what do you mean by that? because the amount of unnamed sources that have fed information to the British tabloids oh. about me and my wife and my family. You have a source, true it's you. True and not true. I am the source of that book. That's the only difference. William is destroying the royal family himself. Okay? Uh, they write the same stories over and over. First, a lie that Harry wants to meet William, then followed by a great pile of BS stories like this. It was exactly the same with the Meghan and Harry will welcome an invite to Sandrium at Christmas. Totally pathetic drivel. Yeah, when did Harry even hint that he wanted to see William? And William favor imagination, perhaps. Harry could not wait to get out of there and on to Vegas. That's for sure. Okay, Harry wants space and his brother should respect that. Exactly. Sorry, man. Prince Harry only has time for actual legend. That's right. Legend, not those who have no resume and pretend to be one. Next. Nearly all the comments I read were in support of Harry. The tide is turning. The media are not helping the royal family. One little bit with all the made up drivel they print about Harry. Okay, they create their own fairy tale with made up storyline for Harry and Meghan to be presented as bullies. I hope these so called adults get sued for their character assassination. I hate it for the British media since unless and until they have an actual on camera interview where they show Harry and Meghan crying and begging to be back as senior royals welcome back to that family. I will never believe a thing they have to say. Even then, I won't believe it because. AI, so stop. Okay, so let's get to the next tweet. Maybe I'll stop after two things here. Next tweet. Okay, remember Worlds just do ribbon cutting, staff organize all events, overseas trips, charity work, write the speeches. Why do I feel? I hope I didn't do this yet. Okay, Lazy Kate Middleton prints William Bash for lack of 2023 engagement. He is Diana's son. All right, what is this here? Exclusive. Prince William blasted for laziness for working just 47 days in a, w in a year. 
Prince William was accused of laziness today in a report that found he works the equivalent of only 47 days on official royal duties in the year after he quit the Royal Air Force. Mm. Uh, Lazy William has worked just 100 hours this year. Mm -mm -mm. That was back in 2017. Wow. Yikes. Kate Middleton called Lazy by the Queen nicknames her Duchess of Doolittle. <laughs> back in 2015. Uh, right? The Prince of Wales' role as heir is in sharper focus than ever after the King's cancer diagnosis. William is processing the news and remains protective of his family time. So what will the new royal order look like in Charles' absence? My royal read. <laughs> so that's why she put this uh, screenshot about him being lazy. That was before Meghan got into the, the picture. So this is the headline they were, they were writing. Next tweet. Okay, more about the lazy. Ma'am, I'm American. My success isn't dependent on rising after the death of someone. I'm more educated than your so-called heir without hair. <laughs> Will ever be, speak three languages, have a loving hubby and family who are happy with my success. I actually help people. William will be king and uh, I'm American. <laughs> so she retweeted that. And he'll still be king and you'll be nobody, king. <laughs> Oh, I feel sorry for them. They act like little childish. So this is this is a huge thing. So okay, William will be king. So focus on him. Stop coming to those little people kind of conversation. William will be king. So what? Next? <laughs> oh my god, there's a laugh here. I never seem a more stupid bunch of people. I find some of their responses hilarious. They behave like children. Exactly. They act like us Americans care about their king and queens when UK can fit into my home state with room to spare. That's true. We've done, uh, what was it, the uh, overlap of the map of the UK and with the United States. And uh, we put in, there's so much space. All right. So there's me here. <laughs> lucky sperms, not lucky charms or lucky smart, just lucky sperm and doesn't un understand and appreciate how lucky of a sperm he is. He's bothered by the minuscule of things, but he will be king. Americans don't give a F unless if he tries to undermine our democracy. Other than that, he can shoo. <laughs> Yeah, let's read what's there and then move on. If that's the only argument they have, that's sad. Because, and let's pause it. Because in today's world, that's not enough anymore. The Duke of Westminster and the future Queen of Spain, two crown princess, the current King of Denmark are the ones that get it. Yeah. All right. So all taxpayers are nobody, but the one who lives off tax is the real body. Huh? Okay, air without hair. I'm so, <laughs> there's a laugh here. All right, let's go to the next one. All right, so there's that here. Trending in Australia. Okay, where is Kate Middleton, Pierce Morgan, Prince Harry one? And then there's that. Oh, my Lord. <laughs> oh, Lord. You could look at it. <laughs> They're laughing. Okay, these, okay, these as well. There's this here. Prince Harry won. Peace Morgan is a liar. They should have left Meghan Markle alone. Ever since I found the Sussex squad, I heard them saying, leave Meghan alone. Now they piss her husband off. He's going after them. We love it. I love it. All right. So there's that. That's an ad. So let's move on. Okay. I'm 50 minutes. That's a video. Let's see what it's all about. So there's that. Let's pause. Remember Millie Dowler, remember Princess Diana and Caroline Flack, the British media is still unethical, still corrupt, still making ordinary citizens the target of their hate, vitriol, and incitement of violence. Tell Victoria Newton, Prince Harry's cases are therapy for Brits. All right, a minute and five seconds. Let's see here. There will be a screenshot, okay? talking though of that rocky history there are still rocky relationships we know in the royal family prince harry flew in this week and then disappeared very quickly but he also victoria settled his legal action against the mayor. i'm glad she pointed out that harry left very quickly for this week and his fight the fight between prince harry and the, and the newspapers goes on we know there is also a case against the newspaper group news uk that you're a part of and we can't get into the legal details but can you assure our viewers that the kind of practices we've heard about, the kind of practices Prince Harry has complained about, 
can you assure people that's come to an end? It doesn't happen anymore. 100%. Obviously, as you say, I can't comment on the ongoing cases. Um, but, you know, I've been editor for four years now and um, I've never covered stories on Prince Harry. It wasn't my, my bag going back. It goes back a long way and it's absolutely 100% not what happens today. Do you think Harry has still got the sort of right to be this cross with how the press behaved if things have changed? No, I don't. Um, but I think he's also cross with lots of people. He's really cross with the courtiers. He's really cross with his brother. He's really cross with his father. He's, he's angry with the world. And no, no. He's going directly. Oh, who said it better? Is it uh, James O'Brien? Do I have that video somewhere? Or is it buried in one of those hour long of uh, recording? James O'Brien had said something where Harry is really taking it right to their front door. If you are honest with yourself, you will now begin to understand why Prince Harry has come under such vitriolic and sustained attack from the most influential media outlets in this country. Because he is bringing the fight to their doorstep. And I do believe that an awful lot of the treatment that he's received over the last few years has been designed to try to persuade him to stop. I know that he believes this to bully him into silence. If you think what you've been through so far is bad, you better just take a look at this. Oh, and by the way, nice wife you've got there, be a shame if something happened to her. That's how bad it is. That is what they've done. They have sought to dissuade him from pursuing these legal actions by showing him that things can get even worse than they were. The younger generation of women, particularly a lot of younger women of color, who look at Meghan Markle and they have never seen a woman like her. They have never seen a woman who's had the guts and the confidence and the audacity and the balls to stand up to the media, to stand up to the establishment, to literally take on the biggest trolls on the planet and say, enough, I am not standing for this behavior. I'm not going to be treated like this and I am pushing back and I'm, I'm going to tell my story. I'm not going to be silenced. I'm not going to be the good girl. I'm not going to just go away and shut up. I'm not going to play by the rules. I'm taking you on. I'm taking you on at your own game. I'm going to use the media. And the way that you've used the media against me, I'm going to use the media. Because he has the guts and the capacity and the resources to refuse to be bullied by some of the most bilious and unpleasant human beings that have ever deigned to call themselves journalists. And I think there's a lot of young women who look at that as being incredibly empowering. And I think this documentary, this makes her an even bigger and an even more significant cultural figure in modern popular history. It is a huge victory for Prince Harry. And he has just smashed them right where it hurts if they had left him alone none of this absolutely none of this the docuseries spare the lawsuit none of this would have happened how many times prior to harry suing the papers have harry have gone to ipso how do the say it ipso how many times harry have gone to them complaining and they turn a blind eye. They claim the paper have done absolutely nothing wrong. So instead, what he does now, he doesn't complain to the Eps, uh, Ipso. He doesn't go to Ipso anymore. He goes straight to the court and let the court decide. And so far, he has he was right. The papers are doing things unethically. Do the paper learn? Nothing. They haven't learned a damn thing. The minute he stepped over there, they went at it. They were extra vile. I could not even share some of the screenshots of the nonsense that they were printing. Okay? So if they had left Harry alone, none of this would have happened. Let me move it back a little bit. Things have changed. No, I don't. Um, but I think he's also cross with lots of people. He's really cross with the courtiers. He's really cross with his brother. He's really cross with his father. He's well, no, we know because no, we some reporter has mentioned we it. Know that they did speak on his birthday, and Wills's so people immediately leaked that phone call to that's the press. What He's angry with the world, and um, it's a shame that he, he still bears so much anger despite all that therapy. Well, is the therapy that's helping him focus on what's really matter? My goodness. Maybe if the brother 
William have gone to therapy, some nonsense he had displayed recently, this past week, I think that video where he was swearing back and forth, maybe he would be in a better shape. Oh my goodness, let's see here. Yes, the Sun and the rest of the British media want to engage in criminality and peace. Prince Harry is getting on the way of that. I think that's what it is exactly. All right, let's see here. Let's, ooh, okay. Among the allegations against associated newspaper made by lawyers acting for the claimants were the hiring of private investigators to secretly place listening devices inside people's cars and homes, the commissioning of individuals to super superstitiously listen into and record people's live private telephone calls while they were taking place, the payment of police officials with allegedly corrupt links to private investigators for sensitive inside information, the impersonation of individuals to obtain medical information from private hospitals, clinics, and treatment centers by deception, the accessing of bank accounts, credit histories, and financial transactions through illicit means and manipulation. My goodness. So these people want this to continue. This is the same thing that the Bojo sister was saying. I don't want the press to be in the last chance saloon at all. I want I want to see newspapers thrive. This is my industry and I think it's in all our interests that we have a thrive and we've got the most wonderful uh, newspapers in the world in this country. You you read the newspapers in in the states or in France, they're very dull. They're not entertaining at all. I think that we can have a both a serious and an entertaining press. And that's what I want to see survive. I don't want to see Prince Harry destroy the industry I love. They want this to continue. You could pause this and, um, and read this. This is the statement that Harry made. His lawyer read after they settled. Okay, so pause it and you could read well, it. All right. There's this here. Yes, Victoria Newton was editor of Sun Wem. Jeremy Clarkson with this disgusting column. She approved it. All right. So that's the thing with Jeremy Clarkson about uh, Harry. I don't think he had ever apologized to Megan. Has he? I've heard he apologized to Harry, but he didn't write this about Harry. He write this about Harry's wife. So the apology never been extended. If he did, I didn't come across it and I'm not aware of it. Okay, she said those practices don't take place anymore, which confirms that they previously did. This contradicts what they said in the past. The interviewer just gave her an opportunity to, to absolve herself instead of probing a very serious issue. Disappointing. All uh, right. She was reported as a hacker herself. Oh. <laughs> the squad have a uh, screenshot um, receipt. Okay, the Sun's editor, Victoria Newton, allegedly wrote hacked stories in her previous job at the Daily Mail. That was back in 2020. Uh, Newton has already been accused of alleged phone hacking at her main paper, The Sun. The controversial editor has been repeatedly named as an alleged phone hacker in the high court. Phew. Okay, definitely after this. Let me read bottom up. Isn't Victoria the one who allowed Jeremy Clarkson to write about wanting to throw feces at Megan? Mm -mm. Uh, she needs to sit down and stop her gutter journalism. Okay. They're all a baggage for God who allowed this to happen. Her paper okayed that atrocious piece of abusive writing from Clarkson. Yeah, after that was published, more than Harry was angry. Over 20,000 most complained Ipso Press regulators received and its useless history. People were angry too. Disgusting UK Press housing rep uh, reprobate. All right, so let's go to the next tweet. Come on. All right. All right, so after this, I'm going to go to part two. Okay, I'm going to stop it and go to part two. Next tweet. Jobson, Prince Harry caused some disquiet by taking it upon himself to visit his dad. Oh, Harry can never do anything right to these people. Did these people think by Harry stepping back from war duties, he stopped being Chuck's son? <laughs> Harry's visit was prearranged and this piece makes his dad sound like a fragile weakling who was inconvenienced, really unflattering, considering the many years Jabo the gut, oh my god, been living up his back passage. Has he been evicted to make room for the enlarged uh, poses? Okay, had a full security escort straight from the airport to his residence, Shu Jan, that was uh, a summon. <laughs> All right, so let me stop here. Um, I, I guess let's do a prayer for uh, safety. Oops, prayer for safety. 
all right Protect me from trouble wherever I go and keep evil far from me. No matter where I am, I will look for you as my protector, the one who fights for me every day. Your love and faithfulness along with your goodness and mercy surround me daily so I will not fear whatever might come against me. All right, so that's it. Please take a moment to subscribe, like, and share. If you want to support this channel, there's a PayPal link and a Cash App link in the description. You could donate. Those who have donated, thank you. I'm going to do part two of this video because I still have more. This is where I am here and I have these left and then I have this for another video. Oh my Lord, let's get going. future.